On Wednesday's edition of CNN's The Situation Room, former federal prosecutor Ellie Honig broke down the significance of the House Select Committee's decision to seek information from Representative Jim Jordan on his involvement in former President Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Take a look at the CNN clip. Ellie, let me start with you. It may be wishful thinking that Congressman Jordan will voluntarily cooperate with the committee, uh, but he's a critical figure in this investigation, isn't he? He is, Wolf. The committee has made clear that they're playing hardball, that they're going to pursue the truth no matter who may hold the truth, up to and including their own colleagues in Congress. And let's be clear here. Jim Jordan is not being picked on. This is not the committee saying, hey, let's go mess with Jim Jordan just for fun. He has absolutely earned this request for information, which could soon become a subpoena, because we know for a fact that Jim Jordan spoke with Donald Trump and on January 6th. Jim Jordan has now admitted that sort of reluctantly and in a way that suggests he's not super proud of what he talked about with Donald Trump on January 6th. So there is a real reason and purpose behind this subpoena. Jim Jordan has said he has nothing to hide, and soon we'll see if he can back up that talk. Representative Jim Jordan, who is a staunch ally of former President Trump and a founding member of the Hardline House Freedom Caucus, is the second member of Congress to receive a request for information from the committee. Among other things, the select committee wants information from Jordan about contacts he had with individuals at the Willard Hotel in Washington, D.C., as well as with Trump's legal team. They are also interested in hearing from Jordan about discussions regarding presidential pardons for people involved in the Capitol riot. Jordan could be facing a subpoena if he refuses this week's request for information. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.